Hello everyone, I'm Tim Martinez with the Disco Dish, and today we'll be cooking discada. Cooked on a discada. Let's get to work. Today, we'll be using a larger disco. Let me show you the differences. First of all, we're gonna use this disco because it's larger, we're cooking a larger amount of food. But also, this disco, if you notice how tapered thin it is, and the difference here, this one's thicker. This one does hold the heat a little bit better, so it holds the heat longer, and that's basically the difference. So let's get started. And everything's in this cooler. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with bacon. I have some chicken sausage with poblano peppers and Monterey cheese. I have polka kielbasa. Beef skirt steak. And pork chops, chopped up pork chops. Let's get started. So you started to scot off with the bacon. And basically the reason for that is we're gonna render down that fat and we're gonna cook everything else after that in this rendered bacon fat. Here we go. So we're cooking down the bacon. Um, and once we get that completely cooked, what we'll, we'll do is we'll pull everything off to the side and then we'll go to our next uh, meat that we're gonna cook. A discada is a good meal to uh, feed a lot of people for a big family get together or, or something like that. There'll be a lot of, a lot of meat cooked up and you can feed a lot of people with the discada. They have some bacon bits in a bit. We're, the bacon's getting cooked, we're almost there. But as you can also see, there's a lot of rendered fat in there now, which is that, that oil. So we'll be able to use that to cook the, the next meats coming in. Okay, so now we're ready. The bacon's cooked, we're ready to pull that aside. What I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna turn down the heat just a little bit, because I don't wanna burn the oil. We'll get that over here, and then we'll choose our next meat. Polka kielbasa sausage. Here we go. Now we'll cook this down and do the same thing, moving on off to the side. And a side note here, this polka kielbasa is fully cooked. So all we're gonna do is crisp it up just a little bit so we don't have to fully cook it or anything. So the cooking time is, is short. And next, we'll be putting in the chicken sausage with uh, poblano peppers and jack cheese. This chicken sausage was fully cooked as well, and it also has the poblano peppers, but we also have cheese in there. So we don't want to overcook it here. We're going to pull it out now. Everything's warmed up, so we're good to go with this. Pork is next. Watch yourself. And when you're cooking on a disco, make sure you pay attention to where the hot spot is. Sometimes it moves around with the wind or the weather conditions. So right now my hot spot moved a little bit over here to the side. And so let me show you. We have it sizzling right over here to the side, but not so much over here on this side. So this is a little bit cooler because the wind direction is coming this way. So I'm putting all my meat off center to where the hot spot is. So just pay attention to your hot spot. So the pork's done, and now we're gonna move the pork off to the side and get to our, our last meat, skirt steak. And we're moving right along. A discada is any meat you choose. So whatever meats you guys have at hand, you can use that. Um, these are just the five that I, we chose to do for this episode, but just have a fun time cooking. That's what it's all about. All right, so this meat's ready. We're gonna move it off to the side. And after I move it off to the side, I'm gonna drop down the flame, lower the heat, 
so we can get ready to cook our vegetables. So we have jalapenos that we're gonna throw in their hole. I have a couple of serrano peppers, some hueritos, our yellow hots, and we have some bulbed onions. So right now I'm gonna turn up the heat and we're gonna get those vegetables softened up and ready for us to mix everything together. So with these vegetables, I like to get a good sear on, a good sear on them, soften them up really good, add them up and just add the good flavor when you, when you heat them up really well. So what I'm looking for is a sear on the jalapenos and the onions. And we got it on that, we got it right there. We have it on that onion. So now we're gonna mix everything together. Check this out. We're gonna mix everything together. We're gonna to get it up to a high heat again, sizzling pretty good. And then we're gonna order, then we're gonna add a Mexican beer. So now that we got everything mixed together, we're ready for the beer. It just smells so good. All right, so we put that beer in there, lower the temperature just a little bit, but it's gonna deglaze everything, get everything from the, the disco to infuse some flavor. So we're gonna get a, back up to heat a little bit, then we'll cut the heat, um, we'll get some tortillas on top of here, um, and we'll go from there. All right, so now the dish is complete. What we're gonna do now is put some tortillas on the edge add some tomatoes and cilantro, and we're good to go. All right, so now we're gonna get a taco ready. Like that, this good meat. And if you want a, an onion or a chile, then you sprinkle it with lime. And that's the disco dish.